Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this bonus news update video, what I'm basically going to be doing, I'm going to be doing two videos. This is video one, this is just a straight up recap and a full run through of all the reveals that were in the Hasbro PulseCon yesterday as it was now. So I'm just going to show you everything that was revealed, a few of the things that obviously we knew about, but I'm just going to show you all the figures um, from core class right up to the end, um, including the special as well. And then after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video with my thoughts on it. We're going to discuss the um poster we're going to discuss the easter eggs and what i think potentially could be happening with a lot of these figures and the repaints that perhaps they could make so we're going to start off with something that we knew was coming and of course this is fantastic this by the way uk guys if you want this it is on hasbro pulse right now it is 84 pounds though unfortunately that is the cost of this set so we've all seen it a few times it is something that we all wanted um, and it is actually available to order right now on Hasbro Pulse. Uh, but for UK viewers, it is £84. It is, of course, the Alpha Trion and Orion Pax um, Twin Pack set. And, of course, we've got a redeco of a Voyager class figure and, of course, a Deluxe there. This is still an absolutely stunning, stunning set. Um, I think this has been definitely the most wanted. There's way, way, way more interest in this than there was in the Covert Agent Ravage set that was, of course, last year's. There is, of course, Studio Series Cup turned into Orion Pax, and the colour scheme on him just works. Absolutely fantastic. Really impressed with this. I've had to order it. I just think it's great. I think it's going to be good for her. There's that scene, of course, you can create from the front of the box. And there, of course, we have Alpha Trion. Excuse the glare, everybody. Um, and he is, of course, a redeco and retool of the Studio Series 86 Scourge mould. But brilliant they work so so well so that's the set that we knew was going to be um the hasbro pulse exclusive which is brilliant uh but what, then what they did was they i suppose in their own way they explained um what the next phase of legacy is and the next phase so year two is going to be known as legacy evolution and it sounds really interesting there's a few new little gimmicks um they did show us a poster but again i'm going to be going through all the things in the poster because there's loads of easter eggs i've got a big list here of all the things that i've noticed and what i think is going to happen um but yeah that's going to be coming up in a different video this is just the reveal so this is core class core class um, slug as they're calling him I'm going to refer to just what they're calling him because that's what it's going to say on the packaging so this is of course the Dinobot the Triceratops but notice he's got the red face and again they're saying that they're going with the cartoon accurate versions of the figures which I just think is really good and I think it's good for a couple of reasons to be honest there's the alternate mode now of course these aren't a patch on the leader class versions um, that we've already had but Again, I like the way they're thinking. I like their, their, I suppose, their reasons. So with the core class figures, not much engineering, not too much to go through. So what they can literally do is they're going to hope to get all these released next year. So they're going to get all, and this is the brilliant tie-in. There's going to be six of the Dinobots. So there's going to be all six of them um, and they're going to get them all out at core class. So it's good for loads of reasons. It's good because A, you can get all six uh, pretty fast. B, if you can't afford or if you just lead a class, you've got no space for them. And not, not just about the money because again, figure are going up all the time but also i suppose it's the age in which they're um marketed for like these would be ideal for my son um where of course the studio series although they look fantastic they're just a completely different league for him so um and the other bonus thing about this is as well and we'll have a quick look at it and again i'm going to be discussing it much much more in the other video um they do combine i've got a couple of pictures in a second of these two so we've got this was sludge uh, granted them hind legs from the dinosaur just look they don't look great, do they? But again, it's a core class figure. The reason I think it's showing you these zoomed in as well is see you've got that hole below his chest. We've got all these five millimeter pegs. Um, and this is gonna, again gonna help with what I'm about to show you. So there is the two of them combined together to make Volcanicus's chest. And there it is again from another angle. Now, although I'm really weird with the Dinobots, I think if it's the G1 ones like the Studio Series, Definitely, no, not combining, because they never did. But when it's regards to things like that, um, it's weird. I think it's because of the game. I play Earth Wars, and it's just given me this, I suppose, a different appreciation for Volcanicus. But I'm really liking the fact that they can do this. And, of course, there's going to be six Dinobots. Um, and, again, this could potentially lead into something fantastic. Uh, but this video is just about the reveals. This is the last Core Class reveal. This is, of course, Sound Blaster. 
all through the video, he, he um, Beanwrack got the cassette name wrong though. It's clearly Buzzor. It's clearly Buzzor. This is obviously a redeco of Soundwave, which again is great. Um, and Sound Blaster, as they said on the video, he's from the Japanese continuity and he first appeared in the Headmaster's cartoon. But the little cassette inside will be a laser beak redeco, which is known as Buzzor. And that is, and they, I think he was saying slug um, it was, was the cassette, but um, I know he kept getting it wrong anyway, and I made little notes on that. So I'm really excited for that little guy. I, th I think, again, it's a no-brainer. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for him. Next one, this one, I suppose, is, is the letdown for a lot of people. And the reason is because of the alternate mode. Um, at least they sort of explain the spoiler that you can take it off, but it's um, it can be combined. Let's see if I've got a picture here. There you go. See how they've combined it with the weapon um, and turned it into sort of an axe. And that is, of course, what they said they were going to be aiming for with evolution. That's the next process. So the first part of all legacy was combining all the weapons and they're going to be taking that to one step more with the evolution phase. So I, I think they've they, I don't want to say they've got us over a barrel. I think, unfortunately, most of us are going to have to get him because we want to complete Menasaur. But this is the main reason why people aren't happy because that's obviously not a Lamborghini Countach. And yes, it is um, obviously a retool of Wild Rider. So I think they let us down just a fraction with that, to be honest. Um, the only good thing that they did say... There's, um, they've managed, even though this is going to be coming out as part of Legacy Evolution, they're going to be packaging him in the normal Legacy packaging, which, of course, is really good for everybody um, who collects them in the boxes. Now, the next figure, which I thought was brilliant, and that was a great... This one, it just goes to show, doesn't it, as well, that everything that they previewed on that, sorry, on the leaked lists, they've pretty much come to fruition. There is, exactly as you can see in front of you, there is a... Deluxe needle nose figure. <coughs> Excuse me, which I'm excited for. Um, I think these guys, it's great to see the other target masters getting some proper love and um, yeah, some newer figures. So you've got both of the mini target masters, which I know they're super basic, but they were super basic in G1, and also they've still got the same gimmick that you can combine the two together as well. There's the jet now. They mentioned that there's a secret with the jet as well, which unfortunately we still don't know and we're not aware of. Um, you can see it's 14 steps. See there it's saying Evo Fusion where you can combine the weapons. Um, again, exactly like G1. It's a perfect, perfect homage to G1. If you look in the packaging there, in fact, when we get to a more detailed one, there's the Target Masters. Um, and that's exactly how you could put them in the G1 jets as well as using them as engines. Uh, but what they've done with the packaging, they see you've got the extra layer of card protecting them and holding them in. I think maybe that's a bit of a lesson learned as well with regards to um, people taking parts and stuff off them. Right. Next, next reveal deluxe was Hot Shot. And as you can see, there's without visor and with visor. Now, this looks really good. And the reason why I'm impressed and not liking these, it's going to give me an opportunity again to experience figures that I didn't ever buy or to be honest really see i completely missed out the unicorn trilogy they were my early 20s and by my own admission um i wasn't collecting newer stuff maybe it's just still buying some of the older transformers but wasn't collecting the newer stuff there's you see without the engine uh the weapon sorry at the front and there it is of course on the bonnet um you can also do you can see there the evo fusion for the head over there you've got another use um again for the weapons and accessories they've made these multifunctional and very playable which i think is brilliant and that's exactly what they should be aiming to do this guy is super interesting this guy is scrap face as far as i can remember um he's a new wrecker character and this i suppose just adds more weight to the fact that i think we will be expecting detritus he's been leaked um and i'm liking the sounds of all these new wreckers one thing i don't think anybody picked up at that looks like mater an angry mater from cars for me though <laughs> definitely because it's sort of got a face on it it does look an alternate it does look a great alternate movie. I agree, it looks a bit Mad Maxi, but to me, it looks far more like Mater from Cars than anything else. What I like about it is that you can pull it all apart. Um, I've got a zoomed in picture of this in a second. I'm pretty sure I have. So you can pull it apart, a bit like a fossilized, a bit like a parts former, like so. There he is combined with Universe, oh, sorry, Armada Universe Hot Shot. But what they did say was that you can do the transformation process without having to break it all apart. So although it breaks into all them pieces, you can do the transformation process all as one. 
And there he is in the box. See, there's the evolution that they're writing at the part, which, as I say, is wave two. There's Angry Mater. <laughs> He's definitely Angry Mater to me. Um, scrap base. There we go. The packaging, again, looks brilliant. I love to see the fact that they're spending money on packaging now. Now, this guy was... Again, was he a surprise? I'm sure he was on the list, but he was a surprise to me. But I'm pleased to see him. Again, I think there's, they're going to make a good use of that mould for a couple of reasons, which I'm going to discuss separately. Um, this guy is Tarn. And again, hold my hands up. I don't know too much about him. IDW Comic Universe. I've got them. I do need to read and find out who it is. Exactly what he is, um, to be honest. Uh, he does look great, though. I initially, when I first saw it, if I hadn't have heard it was a Voyager class, I thought it was going to be a redeco and a retool of Skullgrin. But thankfully, it's not. It's much, much bigger. The detail on it is better. I love the fact that the weapons are multifunctional. So you've got them there on the back of him. Um, you've got them combined up, which they didn't do. They, they said you could see a picture of it, but they didn't do on the actual video. There he is, all combined. Well, there he is, sorry, he's in alternate mode. Brilliant looking tank looking fantastic and it's going to be 27 steps so there's the evo fusion where you've got either the guns uh two together on the wrist or two combined together on the back again some actual product shots so these are actual real product shots again from hasbro pulse you can pre-order all of these and again from loads of online retail stores they've all gone nuts tarn's the only one that's sold out at the moment to be honest so if that's an indication of anything to come and it looks like they might be doing some more comic book universe figures this again was on the list this figure looks fantastic this is leo prime he looks great he looks incredibly intricate as well he is coming in at a voyager class size figure and the detail on him is brilliant um again just blown away by these even though we um we'd sort of seen the names on a list it's always amazing to actually see them and they've they even said this themselves obviously they've been doing kingdoms they've been doing beasts recently so there's no excuse for them to not get the alternate modes you know tied down really well and look you've got powered up with all the weapons showing and then just normal you can see there's full articulation in every single joint detail spectacular um yeah really looking forward to seeing this and again expanding my knowledge onto some of the figures that i haven't ever seen or had the experience of i suppose enjoying to be honest moving on to the final reveal of actual figures they did a light bright and they did some other things as well but this is the one that we knew was coming and everybody will be super super pleased that they got the netflix mold so it is of course shattered glass sound wave and as you can see he's exactly the same color scheme as what i've got with the e hobby version so i'm going to do an updated video of that very soon what i also like the fact is um that we've got of course two two cassettes we've got laser beak and ravage there again in their shattered glass colors just this is the one we wanted this is what we all were expecting we obviously didn't get any news on the titans or any of the other leaks that we that happened on this on the same morning unfortunately but i'm sure you'll agree these look that's the what we wanted it's got to be a cassette player just really excited for this um and to be fair they're the first ones i've ordered pre-ordered the sound wave and the evolution of a hero pack the other ones i'm just waiting on um, but these ones I didn't want to miss out on at all. There is the poster. And funny enough, that is where I'm going to leave this video. So as I say, this video is just for people who wanted to see the reveals. I'm going to literally put another video up straight away now. Discussing this poster. Discussing what I found in here and things that I think are going to happen. And also, yeah, just I suppose let's let's open up a conversation and see what people think and what we're expecting with these next lot of new figures but that was video one that was your reveals of the figures from PulseCon. let me know which ones you're definitely going to be getting and again stay tuned to this channel because the other video i think is going to be pretty interesting because i found at least five figures on here um and i think there's going to be a lot lot more in the future let's hopefully see if my any of my predictions come true but thank you very much for watching this one take care Thanks for watching, like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.